shocking case of child abuse in which police say an eight-year-old child was hogtied to a table. And it's something the other kids in the house say happens all the time. News Channel 5's John Kosick's been following this story for us tonight. He joins us live with the very latest. John? And one of those other kids, Anita, knew what was happening was wrong and decided to place a call to the folks here at Children and Family Services. But when they heard what he described, they told him to hang up, call 911. My little brother, he's downstairs tied up to a table, and he's trying to get out. With that 911 call, 15-year-old Scott Hart Jr. prepared officers for what they'd find inside this East 50th Street home. His brother, 8-year-old William Donikowski, on the floor, his hands and feet tied behind his back with duct tape, and a shoelace wrapped around his neck and feet, tying him to a table. Who did this to him? My mom makes my sister tie him up every night or my sister gets beat. When the officers arrived and went through that door, they immediately untied the boy. And they say the boy's mother told him she can't control the 8-year-old, and that's why she has her daughter tie him up. But the officers also noticed that the boy's nose had been broken. That's when the older brother pointed to a crack in the wall so high and charged that this was the spot where the mother repeatedly smashed the boy's face into the wall, repeatedly breaking his nose. Police arrested the boy's mother, 37-year-old Andrea Huffman, and his father, 32-year-old Jason Donikowski. Scott Hart Sr. is the father of three of Huffman's nine kids. He didn't want to be shown on camera, but said he found out about this on the news. When I actually saw the pictures and heard the voice, I broke out in tears. The voice was his son, Scott, who called 911. you got to feel sick and to hear what... Yes, I am feel sick about it, and I'm glad someone actually called on her. And I'm guaranteed it's not the first time. Neighbors say they had no idea. Normally, if they're, if they're being abused, I can tell abuse scream from a regular scream, usually. A police say there were no signs of abuse on the other eight kids. All nine kids were taken into the care of Children and Family Services. Please tell us charges are pending. Reporting live in Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5.